I am Muhammad and I came back with another uh, video for Information System 2019-2022 uh, for uh, Flask exercise and I am I will try to solve the exercise which left from the course as you remember uh, we tried to to solve the first exercise and uh, if I remember second exercise actually is more the, the, the exercise that which I I saw in the lesson during the lesson was more uh, more difficult than this we also we had some input for the page like was this one actually was if I remember this one means we are passing also the variable to our our page which is here as you can see and uh, the third one I escaped and I did the fourth one which was with uh, for uh, for submitting the form and validating and showing the errors also in the page uh, so what we want to do today is the using the ur4 for opening the folder for uh, accessing to the internal files in this folder because as i told you uh, in in the flask all the folder are closed so if you want to show some file you need to open it with ur4 in the view part and then you have to give the the folder name which is here is a static but you can call it anything else and you can access to the file name with this with the extension of course and the the, the five is uh, i ask you to to develop a page with dividing one single HTML page to subsection by using Jinja. So what we are doing, we want to do here, creating one layout which is uh, repeating in all pages, like a, like a header and other part. I will show you and uh, how it's possible to divide the static part and dynamic part and um, uh, at at the last but not the least is how we can develop uh, the sign up form with the flask and saving data in the station so this is the last one which i would like to keep it for the after teaching the session uh, session part in the flask but we will try to do the exercise three and five today okay um as i told you uh, usually we would like to use bootstrap and what is the bootstrap as i told you bootstrap is a framework for css for styling content styling in the html page of course of course you can do by yourself uh, the the styling the page but it's very difficult and it's better to use uh, it's better to use some framework uh, like bootstrap and other framework to uh, to style give style to your page we can keep the name style because when when you want to search about this uh, this activity in internet and google you need to write in exactly the name which they call it okay so uh, now i would like to show you first what is the difference between style and without style this is without style so i would like to show you something uh, everyone if you, you have not been or you have not seen my past videos usually i feel i tell you how is possible to show the uh, the development part in firefox or other also uh, also browser like a chrome you you have to click f12 
to see the development part. Usually some people see here, some people see in the left and uh, in the right part, and some people if they configure in the left part also. But what we have usually are the same. As you can see here, I have I can see the page, let's say, which usually the user sees and the part which is a code HTML code the HTML code that I I wrote actually as you can see here I have a division here and I have a row and other part and then P and this is a code so division for dividing the page deep they call deep opening then closing here is understanding and H1 for showing this and if I go on that, if, as you can see, it shows in the page what we are seeing. It's very uh, useful, these tools, because this was very useful because you can, you can debug your page. Sometimes you miss some uh, closing tag, as you remember, for recalling every tag in HTML needs to be closed. If you don't close it, you will have a problem, but sometimes browser tries to fix this problem and will add by uh, himself automatically the things here so uh, and but the most important thing is, is here it took by auto automatically by himself the font and what the size no but the font and I wish to use another font or another size or another color or another. I would like to see here the hell of what I have to do. The, the thing is, you have to divide your page uh, with the div to the separate part. And you need to say, okay, hell, uh, this uh, div go to the left and in the center or something like that. Which is very difficult, but as you, if you would like, you can find in internet a lot of tutorial for using, uh, for using this, uh, this type of things. Also, uh, also in the bootstrap, which I will show you, has some um, blank or some not blank actually some sample for doing this activity. Let's go to the bootstrap. I will go from the beginning to show you. You do Google bootstrap. So we have a bootstrap for three and other things and we can Google it. Bootstrap, it, the first one is a get bootstrap, but we have other type of bootstrap, of course, and you can download other, because all designers, uh, some of them, they took the, this bootstrap and they developed their bootstrap. But I like this bootstrap because uh, it's very clear. The documentation is very clear. As you can see, also you can create a dashboard and other things. If you go inside, you see it says get a start and download. And it says we are working with the JS, CSS, and blah, 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 this part. Don't consider this part because usually uh, this part is for the people that they are using usually Node.js because you can compile, you can compile the CSS, but you don't need this part. Only use the the compiled part for you, uh, your uh, your purpose. And because I don't want to dig this part because. Now, if I explain you this part, you will confuse. First, try to use what is the, uh, let's say, what is the final um, code for you, which you can use in your system. Also, you, as you can see, you can use some bootstrap templates. You can download these templates and you can use it. You can see you have a lot of, let's say, bootstrap and you have to pay for this, let's say, templates. But there are a lot of free templates in the market which you can use it, okay? Don't um, try to pay the first uh, template which you you are seeing is nice, but sometimes you need to pay because 
as a, as a programmer and as a someone that you use programming first you don't need to know how it's possible to create a big let's say an attractive website but for your purpose you don't need to pay you can find something which is attractive also and uh, also is free i will show you later and here let's go here or get started also i will open get started and i will click on download if you click on download it shows you download and it shows you also the source file and without downloading we go forward without downloading if you put without downloading so you don't have in local the, the bootstrap but if you go forward with the downloading you have in local we try to download first we try to download in the static folder in my project so my project is here sorry is here static download I am downloading so I download it I will open it I extract it and I will try to change the name of this uh, strange things to something like uh, or we can do something else we can move it directly to the folder here then I will remove other things okay so now I have the bootstrap here okay and um, also I have a JS here uh, which needs and I can access from the static to the JS and this and the static to the CSS and here okay okay perfect we we see what we can do with this okay as you can see we need something like a link style something we come here in our things link uh, or we can copy this one also uh, href we need href equal instead of using directly the link we need to write url for the name of the folder which is static also for the image you need to do the same file name we will see later on when we are doing uploading image but file name equal name of the css slash uh, so we can use bootstrap boot okay perfect the second one which you have to do is this line script which is uh, linking to the to the js uh, with a script as you can see you have to close a script but in the link you don't need so only a script okay src okay src is uh, again a url for name of the folder static then you need to say file name equal you need to say js uh, i don't remember the name of the file then boot ah uh, uh, sorry then boot strap that's it boot strap the js so also now you have the J J json file and uh, not json javascript file for bootstrap but is not it's not enough you need also put 
uh, jQuery and also uh, some uh, JavaScript which is and if you are going our compiler JavaScript don't forget include CMD as you can see you need to put it otherwise it doesn't will not work okay that's it uh, you need to put the last part also I will show you again so this is exactly what I follow in the in the in the bootstrap website so now i will not do nothing only i would like to show you what's the difference here you have this right? when i run i guess okay the font changed a little bit yes because it previously was for the 90s website not for the 2020 website so now i have some style I, I, Without any adding nothing, I have a little bit of style as you can see on the font and also a little bit nice to see. But uh, for me it's not enough. Of course you will have image, a lot of things, we will go forward with the, about the uh, templating of course. But for a moment we want to, we wanted to do, to use the this function and adding the CSS framework which we did it so for now if you do this for I will show you something very nice now you will it will blow your mind so okay I will put this one here I will explain you now one moment only wanted to show what is different. Okay. Okay. I hope works. Yes, of course works. And uh, it's a little bit strange because I don't know where is the. Okay, now, as you can see, Android is here because it's outside, but uh, it's a 444, uh, should be 12. Uh huh. Okay, we can do this one too, maybe. No, this is 4 is better. 2, this is a sizing, so I will show you how it works the system. You have a 12 uh, maximum, and here we put something like this, which I should not put. And the second one, if I want to use, I need to use. Ah, because I didn't close the D division. Okay, div. Okay. Okay, it's automatically closing. Then, I, if I wanted to do again, I have to do this. This is for the templating, the content base things. And name. Now I am using the things, the, the um, divisioning, if I open it, and I can see I divided this page, as you can see, here, 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 here. The second row, it went out. So it says, okay, the row here, the row here, then goes here, this one is nothing, this one is a 4, this one is nothing, this 2. If I change here, also if you change here, it applies. 4, it goes here. You can do here, you can play it, but it's not applying. Always remember, after changing here, okay, you have to consider, you have to go inside your uh fine and change it only you can play it not always go there and change it so you can say here also i would like to have a center come on center to center it's not working center i guess it's not a class so maybe i need to do uh this one there actually because i don't know what is a class because center yeah it has center but center 
it's not working like that because it centers this D, not inside the counter. So the best way is as centered. Okay. No, it's not working, but we will try to do it because I don't remember now uh, the the way I know actually I, I we can do align text send uh, align center like this I guess as you can see Android went in uh, center and you can do the same for he and you can do this four to have four 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 it means twelve ah I have something here move okay as you can see here it uh, it is in the center okay now everything is center but what if i i want to use the the mobile size as you can see it works but it seems if i have a more data here and here mm, is is not working like what i want so the best way is to do to do here a p okay and this one p okay perfect and here if you have something data the best way is column for a small one to a size see you can say column for a small do one column for a small do one column for a small do one and for column so now how much you left is a 1 1 12 10 column small 10 i guess there is no 10 i don't know what 10 10 there is 10 yes there is 10 perfect if th there is no we have a way to do it actually but uh okay 10 perfect now what i am seeing here something changed and here is a smaller and here i have a bigger place to do see from here to here so this one activated okay this is important which one activated which actually uh, column you are going forward so um, only to be sure everything is okay it shows now okay perfect now we know and when we are going to the also as you can see this one is bigger and this one is and if you do this it is automatically is always is in the center and changing very nice so only to be sure everything works so this is somehow this activity they called responsive they call you are working responsive in every page so you have to follow it but the good um, way is do it is reading this part which called um, layout grid layout container container you can create container the content has to go to the container so if you do container fluid is written uh, for a full width container spacing uh, spanning the entire width of the of the viewport so you have to use this type of activity it says if don't media this is exactly don't uh, maximize for this so only you need to use this activity actually in your code but the good things is that if you do the greeting 
greed. It, it creates the greed. One exactly I did this if you remember, but I didn't put in the con uh, uh, container. Yeah, but it's better I guess to put in the container also. Yes, they are right. Okay. Now we will see everything. Nothing changed, of course, but for a moment because we don't. As you can see, container it it makes to the to the inside the page let's say 12 is coming from here actually okay and uh, this one has to be x small i guess x I don't know, a small. We have a small, medium. Yeah, we have a small. Okay. We leave it like that. It's fine. Okay. Perfect. That's it. What we learned here, we create, we download the CSS framework, which is a bootstrap, and we put it in the static file, which is here. Folder is which is here. The file is inside the static. This, this is CSS and JSON from where we downloaded from here. So, and we follow the help together actually. Then I create this page with this code, which is very simple for two row. So, if if you have many name you can do this as you know for uh, okay i will do it now for you but if you want to create a like a um, content or like a, a create showing the comments you can do here you can rip it from here to here always and change the count so don't panic you need you don't need to put all the data for all your row one html so uh, only for uh, completing and concluding this part is now we learned how to use bootstrap how to include it how to use url4 also is useful for images so don't forget if you have some images like i don't know now i don't remember but you can say here, I will comment this part, and you can say here exactly you are for static or IMG. If you have the image folder called IMG, you can put here the image name um, image.jpg or something else. And this is a IMG, IMG, okay. And instead of this part, we have okay. that's it. So uh, only consider, consider, consider you need to right you need to write image uh, if I give it, hmm. uh, here we have some problem problem i guess guys one moment i will show you what is the trouble so okay um you can avoid this part actually if you don't put that it works also don't worry so um but the way is is better to use this so it is only the difficulty between the html and the css and code usually so if you will want to put it's better to put like this to have everything clear okay the the, the cor correct way is this one uh, you can use when you don't have uh, too many tag 
but it's better to use inside the HTML something like this both way is correct as, as you can see here or you are using here the one two or one two is the same not mixing okay anyway now if I run this I guess it will show me the error yes because it says image folder there is no image folder so it says me there is no image folder to, to show to you so if I create here and put something inside the image has to show but now again it will show me don't because I don't have an image so the value did you mean four page instead of I don't know something else but uh, the, the 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 things is uh, for doing these things you need to create the everything put uh, the best way to keep here very beautiful and everything very nice is putting everything in the static folder I bought Ah, okay. I create an image. <laughs> it is static folder, <laughs> like this. It, show, it will not show me nothing, of course. But if you have here, also has work same. But again, has not show me nothing. It will show me the error again because there is nothing inside the image folder guys okay so only keep in mind when you are working you have to put everything inside the static then open a static uh, image folder for the people okay okay cool okay perfect so we will go for the second one not the second and the fourth one but um, okay so for solving this one the five uh, i need to give you some more information about the template engine and templating okay i create this uh, PDF and I upload it in the also portal as you know uh, in this course we are trying to use Jinja so um, Jinja is a template engine as I told you in the course also in the previous video uh, I talk about it a lot but the thing is as we need to always create a um, page we need at, at, at the beginning we need something that they called mock-up this is mock-up don't forget to do first so don't mix everything together first you have to create your I mean you have to discuss about your idea second you have to uh, create or let's say develop the UML from your sequence diagram and from your system let's say from your discussion from your idea from your idea you do the sequence diagram. from your sequence diagram, you create a UML then after UML I don't know when uh, first you want to do sequence or you want to first do UML I don't care but you need uh, your uh, you need to have a clear idea what you want to do so the second step is creating the mock-up mock-up is something like this page let's say I created one mock-up dummy mock-up let's say for my web page and there are a lot of uh, mock-up creator in the internet which if you search you can find a lot uh, one of that which I used is a Lucy chart, but you can use other thing. You can use draw.io, you can use anything that else. You can use, I don't know, word, but use it first. Then after creating the mockup, as you can see, 
from your idea it, it came the menu the news panel the content the footer so everyone has to discuss about this page and has to talk about this page so after all you have to give this part to the developer to develop it actually first you have to give to the ui uh, ui person user interface developer but we are thinking okay the develop your developer also uh, will develop the ui so the developer takes this part and will divide it to too many parts so one part in the called four which is a uh, first which is a layout the, the other part is a menu which is usually is a static for everyone only the login will be changed login if he log in the user if log in has not to show login again maybe it's better to show my account i don't know my setting or something else etc the, 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 the second part which is very very uh, in my opinion important is uh, is a content part which always is changing so you you need to separate this part with whole page okay because this content will change in any page but this part may have not changed okay or in a would be better be always to see this part in any page but maybe not but depends on your system but usually what I have as experience usually the menu part and footer which we are calling usually here uh, usually we are calling this part footer and this part header so menu is part of the header always we are seeing sometimes this part is changing in the main page and the second page maybe uh, i mean internal page when you are going internal page you are not seeing the news let's say panel usually but you can keep also that part in any page but as you can see we can separate all the part main part and we can say we divide it to the five module five module this five module will have separate html but how we can uh, connect these html together because each html has each own controller but only one one routing will be for this page which is now with the index we will go forward how we have to do it so i discuss about this page so i i did something so as you can see in the figure one this page i i separated number one this part which all, all i will put this part this part and this part for a moment in this page how i put i you need to in the first page you need to put block content so you are reserving one block for content here so uh, in the page you write the, uh, we call it layout now block content then the second part is a block footer which is here we wish to change also the footer so we put here but in another page which we have to develop for the content page we develop this part with another html and we wish to call it we wish to call it page number one which is here okay and I extended, I extended page number one HTML from this page. So automatically when I call this page, the Jinja goes to take this part and it will, it will put in the page. Then it will look for a content in this page. So it's a little bit 
confusing maybe but I will show you in the code how it works and h h1 h1 then the footer h2 h2 and the super you need to put the super because until now is not <coughs> it's not uh, compiling but when you are putting super it will come compiled and here is the footer you can avoid to write these parts with but i like to write like here i didn't write it because you can avoid it but i like to write when you have many block in your page you can understand when you started the blog and when you close the blog so here you close the content here you close the footer here you close the footer but here you don't know it if the content is big i mean inside the content is big you don't know what's happening actually so um now i wish to go and see how it works okay how it works the system let's go only to to give you some information these thing and uh, these codes all of them are exist i mean uh, we have you have access to the to the my github and you can go to the github and take the whole project which is consists of a many many example is a full project so you can see a lot of place we i use this type of syntaxes which it means i am using the let's say uh, modular based programming in the view okay so please uh, use this also also project and if you wish to contribute to this project you are very well welcome to do the pull request for this project so let's go uh let's go to this page so first of all first of all i will create one html called layout okay layout perfect this is the first page i will call this page name I don't know what I will put name because uh, each page is changing so this layout is fixed but is I wanted to say you this page will be loaded in any any page inside my website so this is my template let let's let it put in this way I will call this pay this activity as a templating activity i'm creating template for my website if you are familiar with the wordpress and this type of and uh, this type of um, let's say cms you know the template is uh, some code you download and you install on your system but you see every page is the same and the same let's say figure so this is templating so here I will put the menu part which is uh, let's say I will call it uh, I can say it like this actually we can go to use the CSS so we can copy from here the same CSS which we use it uh, to have CSS also here. Why not? Why not? Cool. Okay, cool. So let's go to here. Ouch. Okay. Perfect. Now I have uh, also template and I can use the maybe menu here drop down menu alignment menu content there's a content menu drop down menu I, I would like to use some menu so
I don't like it, so maybe this is better. Okay, I like this one. Okay, perfect, cool. Let's take this. See what's happening for header. header. Don't have any header. Menu content header. Okay, let's come here to put this uh, one here, and we can say all of my things has to go inside my class content contain content sorry not content some of them is content and one of these uh, so i will not use this anymore only one time i'm using so then is, is a funny things is i will show you very good things later on which if you want to change something and temp i mean uh, you, if you wish to change your theme in your website, only you need to change here. You don't need to change everything in your website. So it's good. You need to change one product. It's not everything. So it's good. So I will create one decorator. Like a theme. You can say index, let's say guys, index. So index, so I am rendering the page, rendering template, but not this page, but for a, I will index. Okay, I or I can say main.html, anything that you wish to use. The names equal name. This page name actually. Okay. It's a page name. Okay. And you can say this page name is you can say like page name is here static I'm so fast. Index or home page okay say here home and you can cancel this part for a moment and you can say this one home page that's it okay okay home page perfect but I don't have main, so I have to create a main. Okay, main. No, I don't need. Remember, you don't need to write. So here, I don't need these things. I don't need these things. That's it. Okay. But what what's happening? If I run this, nothing will happen. I will show you now. Uh, I don't know what's happening actually. One moment. Home. Home. Okay, maybe it takes time to change. Yes. Uh, sometimes when you are working in the uh, debugging mode, don't panic. Sometimes if you are seeing and everything is okay, it will be not two hours, but maybe 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, so. No, I'm not seeing nothing. So I wish to see something. Yes, okay. But how? First, because here it says nothing. I want I wish to see here home. Okay. The pe the first things is because the title is here. Okay, this is the title of this page. This is the title. You can change it. So in the main, as I told you, first in the 
in this page you need to say block contents block name content can be anything so until here put inside here and block put inside here put inside here for me content okay so but usually you can put content so i'm not including main but, and i am calling from my app main so how i can force main to take that one and uh, let's say insert his content inside that page okay what we can do is here first we have to say extend extends exactly what we did here extends the name of the HTML uh, which is uh, layout.html then you have to start your block content block content you have to write here then end block content content okay then here if you write h1 home html you know what happens happens this you have menu which you can change it and you will apply for all your website if you extend always the same layout and you have a home HTML here so this is how we can let's say extend our page actually from the from the content and also you can change this part because and uh, no, no, no. okay you can change the okay you can put also footer i'm looking for a footer layout sorry i'm uh, okay layout so you can put footer also in the layout div division okay you can say here division row row okay and here division div I think called div actually not division but I'm calling division I don't know why is it because it's dividing the page of course but I, I call div class row then you have to say this class row has how many uh, you can or can say this exactly class button group but mm, column 12 maybe fully one okay say here also the okay class column column 12 okay so div okay. okay we put here and we need also this one for footer i need to check everything is fine or no okay okay here I don't know what is this actually it's too I guess we can remove this too uh, ready, ready, ready. oh no no that one we need this one is for this okay and I can put here 
instead of content footer footer and in footer you can put anything which you put okay here main instead of this you can put and if in the one page you don't have footer you can avoid that foot footer content okay where is the oh twice i use twice the content the footer this one Footer. Of course, you need to define this one footer. This one, you know, I, I, I did. Okay, HTML footer. So you have two part. One HTML, one footer, and I have this. But for a moment, maybe you don't see what is happening here. Okay. Because it's a one page. But what if I would like? To create instead of home something else user and do I, do I have any user in this page no. maybe yes no, no I don't have any user user okay ah yes here I have user so I cannot use user page maybe. Okay. User page. And here uh, page name. Oh I didn't for I forget to use uh, in the main content. Okay, page name. And now I better not run because everything will be collapse. So now I wish to use user, okay, here. But, okay, but if I want to create this user, I need only to put this part here that's it and I will change this part oh, of course I will put a lot of things maybe here but I did don't need to create again the HTML part if and if I want to create one new uh, button test test two okay Ah, I add the new button and also it applied to user and uh, not user but it was user page I guess yes mm, page user or user page I don't remember mm, oh yes user is user okay now I if I wanted to add something and you can do something very cool also instead of putting blog content here because the footer also is not changing over this so you can put something like this there okay and you can say here uh, footer footer something okay anyway if you run it you can see eh, I am seeing also menu here and I have when I'm changing to the home page, I am seeing also the same thing. I am not seeing a, a, anymore the content that I put there. So in this case, I am using, I'm changing only this part and this part is always the same. In a, and, and if I have some specific CSS or specific things, I can follow from the beginning this uh, the, the, some standard like uh using the using the some structure which i'm not changing each day that structure so because of that reason a lot of big website 
they are not changing their class names but they are changing maybe the color or other things so you have to keep the track for change so for sum up uh, for uh, for some of, of this let's say video is what we did what we tried to create the, the page which has a content and we we separated the mock-up like a two part one part menu three part one part footer one part content at the beginning we put this part this part and this part also uh, he, until here to the one uh, layout and this and this in the as a footer and content then we put footer also in this page as you remember so this is a code and uh, also you can use this part i will put uh, all this code the, now the uh, to the to the github and you can take it and you can use it if you wish so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you next time thank you so much and have a nice day bye